Hopefully there won't be an echo. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Believe it or not, right before Piper said that she couldn't hear me, I was like, can you guys hear me? Because y'all know my phone starts to echo and we can't take the echoing. It gets on all of our nerves. So I was like, okay, well, let me just start out with the phone. But the phone is a hot mess right now. So I don't know what's going on. But hey, y'all, happy Tuesday. And I said, if this is your first time here, thank you for popping in and hanging out with us. I'm Patrice, and I like to craft all the things. And if you like to craft all the things, some of the things, or maybe one of the things, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and we can be crafting together. But hey, y'all, happy Tuesday. I'm happy to be back. Let me see who's here. I am going to try to move this along quickly. We are going to be doing two things today. So we are going to be um, doing decals. So we're going to be using HTV anything. But first, we're going to be using Bling anything. And we're going to be making a decal with uh, bling anything and bling anything. I did not put anything in the description. Sorry, y'all, but you can find bling anything and HTV anything um, on the rhinestone rose website. We will be using hot fix rhinestones from the baby's booty. And um, we are going to be making a decal uh, with bling anything. And we're also going to be trying some HTV anything. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to be, this is the first time I've ever done this before. So we're going to sublimate on some Caesar uh, Rainbow Glitter HTV, and then we're going to press it into the HTV anything. And then we're going to apply some bling. Did I tell you we're gonna sublimate onto the bling? Y'all, hopefully this doesn't take a long time because y'all know I'm known to be a little long crafted like long-winded long crafted but hey y'all let me see who's here hey gina hey nicole hey t create hey fabulosis and kenya so i see a few of my members here hey y'all hey natalie and roslyn and martha i love y'all thank you for being here y'all so i'm thinking of doing like a members monday situation like one Monday, I'm only going to commit to one Monday out of the month for now. Let me know what y'all think, if y'all think members Monday, because if I don't put it on my schedule, it's so hard for me to like just fit it in someplace. So I'm thinking that if we do members Monday, we can hang out. If y'all have any questions, concerns, comments, or complaints, we can hang out together. It'll be like a members Monday live. Um, and then I'm going to see how I can start back with the Zooms because I miss y'all too. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Purple Passion 70 and Theodore. Hey, Sissy Sue and Piper. Listen, I was like, right when you said that, I had just said, can you guys hear me? Because, yeah, hotmess.com. Hey, Mrs. JB and Bernetta. No, hey, Sissy Sue. Everybody's like, no sound. Nicole, you know I love your stop signs, girl. You know I know what that means. I was not being heard. Oh, hey, Sezzy Mocha Crafts. Hey, Fifi. So y'all know what that means, right? This has skipped all the way down to the bottom, and we are about to start. So tonight, we are going to be using the StarCraft Solo. Well, I already cut out the template that we're going to be using. Um, so this is the template that we're going to be using. We're going to be making a basic uh, decal for my car. And I cut this out with the StarCraft Solo. But I am going to cut it out with the Starcraft Solo again tonight, um, just so that you guys could see like how quick the Starcraft Solo is. And I know a few of you have the Starcraft Solo, so I wanted to kind of use it because y'all, let me. The Starcraft Solo cuts beautifully. Um, I actually cut this with the backing on at a pressure of uh, 41. And what else did I do? Yeah, with the backing on, pressure 41. I'm trying to think what else I did, but yeah. But I did not create this inside of StarCraft Create. I created it inside of Silhouette Studio, um, but yeah, y'all, it's perfect. So I'm going to cut out another one. And of course, if y'all don't know, this is the symbol for us Leos. And so if um, probably at the end, 
I need you guys to remind me the last time I was supposed to do a giveaway announcement um, during a live, I forgot. So can you guys remind me if I if I'm like, all right, y'all, it's been fun. Had a great time. I got to get up for work in the morning. And if you start hearing me say that and I have not did the giveaway for the um, Vavor mug press, please stop me because I'm known for that. But we are going to do the giveaway a little bit later for the Vavor uh, mug press. If you didn't see that, it was in a video, uh, maybe like two videos ago, I think. I did the video last week and you had to do an extra step in order to um, be entered into that giveaway. And so we are going to do that. Um, also for this, I'm going to cut it out just because I want y'all to see how Sunny operates and how quick Sunny is. And I will give away the template uh, for this decal if you guys are interested in it. Because I just need one of them. I don't need two, but I want y'all to see how quick Sunny cuts and how beautifully Sunny cuts. But hey, y'all. Hey, Miss Nini. Hey, Kirsten and Sharon. Hey, y'all. All right. So we are about to get started. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You guys like that? Hey, Sen, y'all. And I got a chance to meet Sen, the teacher chick, this weekend. I had a great time. And she's so sweet and hospitable. She actually turned into an Uber driver. I'm going to post um, the vlog from the trip on my other channel, on Patrice L. Um, so y'all can see some of the stuff that I did while on vacation. And also, if you guys did not know, I did a video while I took Sin in Five Below. Because y'all, she knows nothing about Five Below. Nothing about Five Below. And I had to tell her everything about Five Below. And <laughs> I'm just joking. We went into Five Below and I just kind of showed her you know why I love Five Below so much. But my vacation was really, really good. Hey, Aaron, let me turn this heat press on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we're going to actually be using the Cricut, um, the Cricut, Cricut Easy Press 3 tonight. Um, just because, oh, it's already set on 3.30. So I think we're going to do the bling anything, and then we're going to do... Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the bling anything, and then we're going to do the HTV anything. Now, the bling anything, for those of you who may not know, I think I'm supposed to do that 15 seconds. So the difference is with the HTV anything, you can actually use HTV on top of it and turn it into a, a decal. The bling anything, you cannot put any HTV, um, not, and you can't put any HTV on top of it. That's... One of the differences. <laughs> Seems like she was trying to learn. All right, y'all. I'm gonna switch it. Dempsey, Dimps, I know you'll remind me. Dimps, hey boo. So I'm supposed to be announcing the winner. Well, we're actually gonna do it live. So this isn't a giveaway where the winner has to be here. I'm gonna do the um, announcement live and then you know I'll post it in the community and they have like a few days to respond. So that you guys know, if you win this giveaway tonight for the Vavor Mug Press, you will not be eligible for any other giveaways that I do for the next three to four weeks. Let me say four weeks because next we're going to be giving away um, the Vavor 15 by 15 heat press. Um, and so I'll probably try to get to that uh, this week to do the video for that. But y'all, I don't even know if that's... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get to that, but I'm a little... I'm a lot behind. So, Dimps, please remind me if you remember um, to do the giveaway. And also, we're going to be doing a giveaway for this um, decal for any Leos that might want it. I don't know. All right, let me switch over to the table. Let me make sure it looks decent. I don't know. Yes, Kathy. Hey, Paula from Maryland. Yes, you can. Listen, the rhinestone world. So let me tell y'all this. What I know, the little bit that I know about blinking decals, I pretty much learned this from the rhinestone world. All right. So the rhinestone world sells some amazing products for getting this done. And um, they do demonstrations pretty much every week. 
All right, so let's, um, let me switch over and I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit. Let me make myself tiny. <sighs> so how's your weeks going? All right, did I just make y'all dizzy? <laughs> did I just make y'all dizzy? All right, so my table looks a hot mess right now, but it's all good, right? Y'all used to this. So I'm going to show you guys which you guys can see yourselves back there in the corner a little bit. So we're going to be using um, these rhinestones. So I'm going to be using the jet black. I'm not using my favorite black diamond rhinestones because I don't want them to overpower or look better than the peridot. And so we're going to be using peridot. Uh, our heat press is ready. So we're going to be using Peridot for the Leo symbol. And we're going to be using the black rhinestones for the circle. Um, so I just, kind of what I told you guys before, we're going to be using the Caesar Rainbow Glitter uh, HTV. It's going to be applied on top of, this is the HTV anything. It's going to be applied on top of that. And then we're going to sub on top of that. And then we are going to bling it out. Well, we're gonna see if we could do this. I don't even know. If, I don't. I don't even know if they've ever done that before. But we're gonna see. All right. Of, of course, these are. This is the template. What I'm gonna do before we start spreading the rhinestones, I am going to place this uh, flock. And for those of you who may not know, this is rhinestone flock. And I got this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And y'all, I will be live tomorrow on Instagram with Heat Transfer Warehouse. We will be doing some type of project. I'm not sure yet what the project is, but we will be doing some type of projects. So I would love it if y'all would join us there. I think it's going to be noon I think it's going to be noon um, Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. But this is HTV flock, not HTV flock, rhinestone flock. And this is how we make the rhinestone templates. All right. So some people can use, you can use cardstock for rhinestone templates. Uh, it just doesn't last as long as the flock does. There's an adhesive on the back. And so that's what makes it stick. I have this sticking to a Dollar Tree chopping mat. All right, and this is what I use for my uh, rhinestone templates. Dempsey, I was saying that because you remember last time when we had the giveaway and I forgot to even announce the giveaway, I forgot to even do it. Can you remind me today I'm supposed, or tonight I'm supposed to announce the winner of the of a Vor mug press. And you know how good I am at forgetting. So if you can, and but I may remember because I wanna give this away. Again, we're going to be giving this template away, and it's just the Leo sign. Y'all may not be interested in that, but yeah. But hey, y'all. All right, so let me turn on the solo, and we're going to get ready to at least brush in the template for the decal. Now, we're going to try something new. I am going to try to apply the the leo symbol to the circle before we even press it <laughs> y'all know that might be a disaster right thanks Nancy. hold on let me switch over i do want to head into starcraft oh it was from last week's video that so the giveaway was from last week's video y'all we did it was a before i kept it up it's still up but i think um the other video you can't comment on on like there was there were like steps to to be entered uh hold on y'all let me share my screen i'm just going to show you guys for those of you who may be interested in knowing what i did Okay, window. We are on. So I'm looking for this Starcraft. Oh, here it is. All right, y'all. So this is how I um, cut it. But I actually designed this inside of Silhouette Studio. 
And so we're gonna get ready to, to cut this out. Now you can get this done inside of StarCraft Create by using the rhinestone. Um, this is how it would look if I had created it inside of StarCraft Create. Now, all you would have to do is kind of fill in um, some of the missing holes so that it could be like an actual circle. I haven't really figured out how to do that inside of StarCraft Create without breaking all of these circles apart and filling them in that way. But you can, as you see this, you know, you can definitely get rhinestones inside of StarCraft Create. You would just go to your effects. If you have StarCraft Create, you would just go to effects and you have rhinestone, the rhinestone option here. There's so many different things you can do in StarCraft Create. But we did this one inside of Silhouette Studio and it's ready to cut. And so I'm just going to head over to Create and Honestly, y'all, all we have to do now is press create. So let me head back out. I just want to show, uh-oh, you guys did not see that. I just want to show everybody who may have a StarCraft, um, like that you could, this can totally be done. All right, so let me remove that. And so I'm going to go back here. And then, thank you, the Unleashed Crafter. Coretta, hey, boo. All right, y'all. So that's little, that's Sunny over there. All right. And Sunny is our solo. And so I'm just going to go ahead. Maybe you guys will be able to see my screen now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to cut it. But I really want y'all to see like the solo is legit. And I don't have another uh, camera set up over here. So this is why we are doing it this way. Let me make sure it's down. Up. All right, so you can, with the solo, you can put your uh, HTV, vinyl, or rhinestone block in any way that you, you want. So I put it in through the front, but you can also like slide it through the back and put it in through the back. All right, and so y'all probably can't see that screen, but the screen tells me exactly how I need to place it. I'm not adjusting anything. The origin point is fine for me. And so I'm just going to tighten up the pinch wheels again. All right. And so I can't really see because I'm over here, but I'm just going to move the housing and the blade over a little bit. And I want to move it back down. But I want you to see this goes so fast. And as y'all see, I'm not using a mat. Let me see if you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, y'all can see what I'm doing. Sorry. I'm not using a mat. I put it in as is. And how I usually do when I'm cutting with um, the Cricut, I usually take the backing off, but we're not taking the backing off. We're going to leave the backing on. Right now, the speed that I have it at, uh-oh, let me change that. I want to put it on a, so we're going to go with 41 for the speed. And that's how you change it on, this, well, you can change it here, but I don't really do it that way. I just do it this way. There's other things that you could do. I don't know everything about the StarCraft. I just know enough to get me by. All right, so we are on 41. The cut speed, everything is perfect. When I tell you guys it cuts perfectly, you will see. All right, so now all that is set, and I'm just going to select Create. I have the housing like over on in the corner right here in the bottom left corner of the flock and so with this you can kind of tell the machine exactly where you want it to cut so that you don't really waste any of your material that's why i really really like um i really really like it really all right so let's go and we're going to click create and so y'all it's 7 38 now we let's see or 7.38 my time. I don't know what time it is your time, but we're going to press create. And so it's cutting. Let me come back to y'all. Hey, y'all. All right. So I don't see. 
that's this is what the starcraft is doing so we are going to head back over here so that we can spread these rhinestones because guess what it's almost done okay so i am just going to this set we're going to leave over here so i thought I, oh, I do have it and we are going to get ready to spread these black stones you know what? let's do the uh, thing on don't go off we're actually going to spread the peridot stones first and look how pretty those stones are y'all really doesn't need that many because look it's not it's not really a lot that we have to really put in that's too many but it's okay hey everybody just coming in hey sharon hey tampa hey everybody yes elena sunny is working dim so called to real like he loves that crazy all right so we're just gonna go and brush these in and let's see look how fast that was y'all and so i didn't want to use the black diamond because i really didn't want that was that was quick i really didn't want it to kind of like take away from the peridot and i'm just going to put these rhinestones back we're actually gonna do one more so i could actually just get these all I could do it really quickly because it's not anything major. And we're now going to, you know what? Let me put this on here. Hey, Marcel. Hey, Diane. Hey, Miss Diane. So we're going to go ahead and I am just going to go ahead and put this on. Almost messed it up for the usual. And so then we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna leave it on the backing. We're gonna try something new, y'all know. I don't know, but we're gonna try so that I don't have to do two different um, presses. Uh oh. I don't know somebody's calling me. Y'all know somebody is calling me. And I can't. All right, so we're back. All right, so here we go. So we have this transferred over onto, and what we're using here, if this is your first time, this is hot fix transfer tape. So if you decide to do run, so you want to make sure you have the correct materials. I'm not gonna put that on the heat. You do want to make sure that you have the correct materials. Hey, Cog. All right, so I could actually put another, um, do, the, do more green because we're going to be doing two decals. We're going to do one with glitter and one um, right, with the glitter HTV and one with the bling anything. We're going to put more on here. Kathy, I thought it was me. <laughs> I like it. I like watching it too. So we're just gonna go ahead and brush these in. I don't know if you guys saw just how easy y'all look. Sunny is done. That was almost just three minutes. That was almost three minutes. So all I have to do is unhook it. And then I'm gonna show you guys just how easy the peel is. Like you can't even tell that this has been cut through. I want you guys to, when we look at it, y'all, y'all can be like, okay, Sunny. All right, so the 6SS was super easy to brush in. These aren't too bad to brush in. I don't know what I should have did this one. No, I'm gonna do both of them the same so we can see like if there's a big difference. I don't know if y'all can really see. If you're just coming in, hey y'all, and thank you for being here. 
And again, these are the jet black rhinestones. Okay, I think some are caught. Yep. But these even seem to have brushed in pretty well. Y'all, these brushed in really well. Uh-oh, Alfie. Sonny trying to take your job. Look. And there's none overlapping that I have to move out of the way. There's none that I have. To, I don't even have to get my rhinestone tool. Y'all. Sonny just takes up too much space, though. But look at that. Look at Sunny. Very proud. All right, so we're going to actually do something. We're going to try to layer this design. Got to be very careful when doing it. You guys are probably like, girl, you just do it the regular way. We are not. So what I'm going to do is, where's my scissors? So I'm cutting the hot fix transfer, right? Ooh, talk about nervous. If it doesn't go right, all we have to do is just redo the thing again, right? So I'm just going to cut a piece of this. This is parchment paper. I can't find my white parchment paper, so we are kind of stuck with this, okay? Sorry. Oh, Sunny did, Sunny, Elena, Sunny came through. Sunny was like, yeah, you don't give me much opportunity to shine, so I gotta shine when I can, right? All right, so y'all, all I'm doing now is placing this part on the parchment paper. And we're going to see. So let me show y'all what I'm doing right now. So I am just placing the part of the decal onto this parchment paper. But I'm not going to place the whole thing like on there. Like I'm just placing it here. And I'm leaving some of this hot fix transfer tape up just to help me kind of figure out where to place this at. Just like this, because y'all know this is not going to sit. See, my clear would be better, but I can still kind of see. I can see it. Y'all probably can't see it. Okay, eyes. Come through eyes. All right, so I'm going to... Put that here. Y'all probably like the trees. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm going to <laughs> move the parchment paper. Y'all. And then I am going to place it back down. <laughs> I finally did something right for a change in my crafting life. All right, we're going to press this in and we are going to just transfer that all here. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so done so i think i saw it yeah i do have a light board i just don't use it <laughs> just i have it's actually right behind me in bell's home so we did it all right so we're all set for this part right so we're gonna go ahead and get our bling anything and the bling anything yeah where do i put the bling anything I put the HTV anything somewhere. Did I drop it? Uh-oh, y'all. Let me see if I dropped it. 
Let's see, let's see. Because I put the HTD anything over. Oh no, I thought that was. Well, what did I do with the, I just had to bring anything. Just had it. All right, I'm gonna have to find it now. I don't know what the heck I did with it. What in the world? Yo, I lose everything, as you know, if you've been here for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and place this onto the backing. Miss Ruth. Thanks, y'all. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and remove this off. Uh-oh. One still on there. So I need to press it down. Probably didn't get that enough pressure. And we're done. And so I am just going to place this on here until I find our bling anything. All right. And so that's what we have. I could have filled it in a little bit more, but I was a little worried um, with the rhinestones. I didn't really want it to touch it too much. Let me know if y'all think I should fill it in some more. All right, let me find. Oh, y'all, y'all know what? But it was right here, right here. All right, so let me lift y'all up so y'all can see a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you, Christy, and I appreciate you. Thanks, y'all. All right, so. Let's see, y'all, I promise you, I saw, I think I saw Matt do this on the rhinestone world and like for the past few months, I was like, there's no possible way that I could do that. There is no possible way that I could do that. But I came from vacation feeling like a new person. So guess what? The difference is, so if you ever get the, the bling anything and or the HTV anything from the rhinestone world the bling anything has like a cream color almost to it and the hcv anything is uh more clear or more like a whitish tone and this is more off-white i don't know if you guys can really see the difference but this is the htv all right so i am going to go ahead and i'm just going to place this on top and then we are going to press it. Now you can cut this with your cutter, but we will not be using a cutter with it. Uh oh, I don't want to mess anything up. Make sure you scroll up to see how much. Uh oh, hold on. It doesn't show me a stringer. Let me go over to um, YouTube. I want to see. Uh oh, you know I don't have my other um screen up. You know that, y'all know. I be fake prepared, y'all. Can you guys hear Echo? I think from when that call came in, it messed me up. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, where's my thing? Here it is. Let's blame. Oh, for five months, OMG. Dems, you know you my boo girl, you know I love you. You know I love you, girl. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So this is how you would apply. So this is a side, I think I'll put it on the right side. One side is shiny and the other side is dull. And so the shiny side is the side that has the adhesive on it. Let me get my Teflon sheet. I'm just going to put a piece of butcher paper underneath. But congratulate, well, congratulations to me for having an amazing member. Like, I'm the one who's been blessed for y'all. All right, so we're going to put this on over here. I am going to, I don't want to cut the whole thing. You know what? I will. Why not? We'll just use it again. 
So I'm just going to cut, cut this and then press it. Like, why not? I don't really want to waste any of the material. All right, so I'm going to put this here. Hopefully, oh, wait, no. Y'all know I need to put it up. If not, I won't, I won't know where it's at. And I'll be like, hey, y'all, why nobody told me? Did y'all see my video? I forgot to mirror the, the, uh, that stamp. Hot mess. And I still put the video out because guess what? That happens to all of us. I'm going to cut this. Well, no, I'm going to leave it like this. All right, y'all. So we're going to get ready to press this. And we're pressing this at 330 seconds um, for about 15, 30 seconds. 330 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. All right? And again, we are using... Hey, Dr. Cunningham. We are using the... Uh, the Cricut make Cricut Easy Press 3. All right, so I'm going to get this and we are just going to press this down and you're applying pressure. Sorry, y'all. I like, probably don't want to see underneath your nails. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm just putting a little more. I'll make mistakes first. Oh, Piper, I have done that. Hey, Franchester. I have definitely, usually it, I get get it on camera, especially when I'm doing like some, those sublimation holes from Five Below. I usually kind of get something upside down every other video. Clothes, doesn't matter what it is. All right, so we're just going to let this cool off a little bit. And hey to anybody coming in that I did not see. The chat is actually just scrolling away. And so I can't really tell. All right, so it's kind of cool a little bit. We're going to cool it off just a little bit more. Hey, E-Money. Thank you. All right, so this is what we have. And I am going to... Uh-oh, we need to... Peel this off. Let me bring it a little bit closer so y'all can see just how gorgeous these stones are. And if you don't know, I get my stones from the baby's booty, Miss Eve. And so these stones can go on to this is now. Hold on, let me turn Sunny off. We're not going to be using Sunny anymore. This is now um, able to go on the car. We are going to cut around the circle. So you can cut this with a cutting machine. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just going to do it manually. Hey, Patrice. Girl, vacation was amazing. So I'm just cutting around it myself. And again, this one is the bling anything. So the bling anything, you cannot add HTV to it. All right. And so we're going to be doing um, sublimation HTV or glitter HTV because if you try to put rhinestones on regular HTV, it is not going to work well for you. Those rhinestones are going to come off. Okay. But you can put it on glitter. And so we're going to Put some rhinestones onto some glitter HCB. All right. And so I'm cutting it with scissors, but you can definitely use a cutter to cut this. The rhinestone world gives you like instructions on what settings it should be for the cutters that you use. Now we are just going to go ahead and take the backing off of here. Uh oh. Uh oh, y'all. You're close. I'm trying to make sure I get the backing good. Okay, here we go. And then this would go on to, like, you could put it on your car. I could put it on my laptop. Like, you have, like, a decal. And so we could stick this someplace. And this is what it looks like. 
and I'm thank you Piper for joining us enjoy the rest of your day so I am going to yeah Elena I did I blinked it it only you only have to press this at 330 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 seconds so I did 15 seconds but now I can go ahead and place this onto whatever else I want to pr press it onto the adhesive is on the backing and it looks pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool all right so i'm gonna put this back onto here because i'm not gonna actually put this on my car until tomorrow all right so let's do let's try the sublimation one and see if that if that works i don't know i've never done it before i haven't seen anybody do that so let's try it out but y'all these rhinestones are gorgeous all right, so what time is it? Eight o'clock. We're in a good time because I'm not trying to keep y'all all night. We're going to brush some more rhinestones in. And as y'all saw, oh, before we do that, let me show y'all how beautiful Sunny cut. And let me get a mother template. Because I will be sending this to another, another video. All right, I can't even see. Look, I want you guys to see. You can't even see. If it weren't for the roller marks, you can't even see where where it cut, right? You can't. It almost makes you scared, like, oh, my goodness, it did not cut. But guess what? You can kind of, even when you do it, you can't see it good that way. I can kind of see it at the bottom a little bit. You guys see that. And only here where the roller mark hit. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right there. And so these, I don't know if I told you guys, but the black area is uh, 10 SS stones and the symbol is 6 SS, all right? So I'm just making sure that I don't cut any of these, but I want you guys to see just how beautiful Sunny cuts these, this block. All right, and yes, you want to save all the flock that you can save. Uh -oh. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to bring my chair up because we're about to brush a little bit, and then we're going to be done with our stones. But I do want to show y'all this. Now, come a little bit closer. Hey, Beverly, welcome. What are you guys working on? Are you guys working on anything? So, you're probably like, girl, hurry up and peel this flock. All right, so we're going to go ahead and peel the flock. Remember I told you we had the backing on. We cut this without a mat. All right, so this went through the solo as is. No mat was needed. The pressure that I used was 41, but you really could use a, a less pressure than that. Oh, I want to do the other side first. So... This is it on. Um, look at that, y'all. What, like two or two or four little holes remaining there in the circle. And then a few of the little ones. But y'all, that's one peel, right? Oh, goodness, Patrice. I'm messing up, y'all. Getting stuff onto the transfer. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way for a second, and then I'm just going to use my table to take off those other stones, I mean the other holes that didn't come out. It's like they just, they come out so easy. And we got one more here that I didn't see. But look, all of those are out. Y'all know how long? One night it took me, how long did it take me that night, y'all, where I was taking out these dots in this um in this flock? Y'all remember that? Hey, Anita. Anita, we used the solo to um, cut out our rhinestone flock, which, as y'all saw, it cut it out beautifully. So I'm just going to kind of cut, because I did put this a little close together. Um, but this i'm gonna give this away to anybody who is a leo that may want it or you may want to make somebody you know something and i'll share this file or this template with you 
or we're just gonna put it here for now. But you look how easy that was, y'all. That was so easy. And it took three minutes to cut cut that. I know that's not a large design, but still, y'all. Three minutes for those little tiny circles and everything cut perfectly in those three minutes. I didn't have any issues. Oh, Sunny. Sunny, Sunny, Sunny. <laughs> all right, let me move this. I'm trying to move all of these dots. I should have had the garbage here, but that's what I did earlier. I took it out that way, so... We're going to do it the same way. So we're actually going to go ahead. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get ready to press um, the glitter, the HTV. All right. So we're going to put this here. Hey, MC from KC. I miss you guys, too. My friends were like, you better not go on because they know me well. They were like, you better not go on. You're supposed to be on vacation. So this is the glitter HTV. This is Caesar Rainbow Glitter. And we are going to sublimate onto this. I am going to see if I can lightly tack this onto this piece of um, HTV anything. So now we're moving into HTV anything. I don't know if we could do this. I don't know. But we're going to see Tam Tam. Hey, Tam Tam. I don't know if we could do this or not. Um, I don't know if the temperature is going to be too high, but let me adjust the temperature on the easy press. But we're going to see, y'all. So we're going to leave this at 385, and then we're going to press it for about 45 seconds because I don't know. Let's see. If I missed, y'all, I'm sorry. All right, so let's see if I could get this get this on here correctly. We're going to see y'all. I don't know. I don't know. We're doing this together. Okay. So, so we're, if it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the backing or the, this is usually the backing. So I'm going to peel this off, right? I hope I mirrored that image and I'm peeling it off. And we're going to see if this works. And so we're going to see if the rhinestones will be able to attach to this, which it does for other glitter uh, HTV. So I'm hoping that, you know, this is the same. But we're going to put this on here, right? I could probably do it all in one instead of, yeah, let's do it all in one. Let's see. Who, you know, what? Do it or... What do I say? Go big or go home. And since we're here, we might as well, we might as well just get it done, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a piece of heat tape because I'm, yeah, I'm not that uh, stable of a person. So I'm just gonna put this here. And when I'm doing the heat easy press, I always slip and slide. So let me put another piece there. You make it out of here at 9 o'clock, y'all. I was pushing for 8.30, but I got on late. All right, so let me get another piece of butcher paper. You know, I just had a whole bunch of butcher paper here. So this is actually... Uh, Cricut brand butcher paper. If you guys did not know, Cricut has um, their own brand of uh, butcher paper, too. Uh oh, Brody does not. Brody's like, don't put nothing on me. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and press this. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. All right, so. All right, so we're just pressing this. I'm doing 385 for 45 seconds, and hopefully this will, you know, do good. Hey, Kim. Are you guys working on anything tonight? How's y'all summer going? My summer is going pretty good. I am happy to be back here with y'all tonight. What should we do on Friday night, y'all? 
I was thinking of maybe doing some foil shirts. Um, I bought this foil that I haven't used in a minute. So I was thinking of doing some foil shirts. What y'all think? All right, so we're all done. Let's see. Uh-oh, did I do it too much? Hopefully. Uh-oh, I might have melted both the... Um, it looks like y'all... Okay, so the HCV editor probably can't deal with that much heat. We're going to see. It might not have to deal with so much heat, y'all. I might have burnt it too much. Let's see. So what I probably can do is... I'll probably, I could probably sub onto the glitter HTV, but use the Teflon sheet as the backing, and then we can put it onto the HTV anything. Let's see. Because it does require a lower temperature. But it's okay. We're going to see. We're still going to see. Sorry, y'all. And then you say you just have to press it at 10 seconds, like 8 to 10. We're going to see. We're going to let it cool before I peel it off. We're going to see. All right. So I'm going to take off the. Uh oh. All right. So it's cooling. And so the green that I used, I did not really use the green, like the same color as the Peridot when I did it because I decided to do this kind of like right before I pressed go. That's what took so late. I was like, you know what? Why don't you try the HTV anything? So this is subbing onto the Caesar glitter. So let's see if this is, yep. I think we pretty much demolished the... I should have put it on the Teflon, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe we maybe we still can. I should have did it on the Teflon though. I really that's what that's what I should have did. Okay, that's not the HTV. That's actually uh, the HTV anything that part that stuff is actually the glitter HTV so there might be hope for us y'all there might be hope so let's keep moving forward let's keep hey Ashita let's keep moving forward all right let me see if I could peel this backing off now still okay we could peel it off okay there is hope all right, so we're going to put this to the side, right? So I'm going to put this to the side. Actually came out really good on that glitter. The color looks amazing, y'all. I don't know if you guys could really see it. Hey, Sonia. I don't know if you guys could really see it, but that color on this glitter looks amazing. All right, so let's go ahead. Only thing that I'm a little concerned about now is that it might have shrank a little bit, but that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to spread in those um, rhinestones. All right, so first we're going to do the peridot. We're going to spread those in. Uh-oh. I got some dots and bling. All right, and these go really quick. Thanks, Unbiased. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. Listen, the way these peridot rhinestones just brushed into, I don't know if you guys even saw the way that they brushed into here, but the way that they brushed into this template, these peridot rhinestones want to be used. They, they want to be used. Like I didn't even do anything special to get these to brush in. They want to be used. They're like, listen, you barely use me. You're always using the black diamond. That's all you want to use. And so, I don't know. I've been wanting to bling. And I don't know if you guys want to do like another bling project on Friday. Let me know what y'all got in mind for Friday. So I'm just putting these rhinestones back. I'm going to 
then you get how much is left on here so about that much so now i am just going to place these on top y'all think we're going to have the same look that we did before we'll try it out all right so these are on there and so these look pretty good and you know what do i do with that little piece of uh parchment paper that i had i'm always losing anything so if you're just coming in this is the first decal that we did this is with bling anything and so this will be able to go on the back of my car but after i see how this one the htv anything does i may not want it i may not want that one i might want this one hey black pearl welcome all right so we're just going to go ahead and brush this these black and two i'll put a little bit more if you guys were here before y'all saw just how easy these brushed in like these brushed in super super easy too so we're just going to go ahead typically you go in a circular motion to get them to fall into place that helps to turn the rhinestones around so let's see oh, is that my door it might be amazon uh oh and guess what i forgot y'all so sometimes inside of the brush when it's the smaller decals, the not the decals, the smaller rhinestones, they kind of hide in the brush. And so we don't really want that. I have, I see some of the peridot that I forgot to check the brush to see. And so that's what we're dealing with. Hey Tanya, thank you. But these are falling in pretty much perfectly. Like I don't even have to do too much. Look at that. Uh-oh. One. Okay, it's like, yep, it was perfect, but right now, no. All right, let's go. Uh oh, I just knocked it out of place. There it goes. Yeah, these are fabulous. These are the jet black. Y'all know I wanted to use those black diamonds, but I didn't want to overpower the, the peridot. The black diamond are my favorite black rhinestones to use. I'm just brushing these out of the way, trying to avoid having to um, manually place any in. And as y'all see, we don't have to manually place, manually place any of them in. These look amazing. And they, they fill in, y'all, I'm telling you, Sunny's like, girl, I'm stating my case for you to use me more. You don't want to use me. All right, so I'm just brushing the rest of these stones in and y'all think I could do do it again a second time with transferring or layering these stones onto the hot fix tape okay hey Linda let's see but y'all this the way that this uh, that this cricket um, butcher paper absorbed a lot of that um, ink a lot but that looks really good we're going to try to do the same thing again uh -uh, don't stop okay it's at 305 and so now it's almost time for us to get ready to press it again and y'all remember what we did the last time with the what you call it um with the parchment paper if you do this you really want to have some clear uh parchment paper or white parchment paper I'm pushing it though, but but this parchment paper is not the lightest of parchment papers, but I can see it a little bit. And that that is helping me, but I would not necessarily suggest 
doing it with this color parchment paper. I think I kind of shifted a little bit. And so if you guys didn't notice, I actually left a little bit of the hot fix transfer tape exposed at the bottom so that when I did match it up, I could press it down and then this would stay in place. So now I'm just gonna lift it back up. And because this parchment paper doesn't stick to anything, it comes right up. And then now I'm just going to lay it back down and then pick up the rest of those stones. And then I'm just making sure I touch all of the stones so that it makes good contact with this paper. Hey, Angela. Black Pearl, oh my goodness, the black diamonds are my favorite. I always use them. And Eve sent me some of the 6SS in black diamond. I already have tons of the 10SS, but she sent me some of the 6SS so that I could try it out. So, I got it right before vacation, so I couldn't really try it out. But I'm ready to try it out now. I'm ready. All right, so it, look how pretty. Okay, so if we were putting it on Bling Anything, this is what we would have. And if you guys weren't here, Bling Anything has an adhesive on the back. And you can place this onto your car. You can place this pretty much anywhere you want. Um, you can place it on a tumbler. It's up to you. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and I am going to lift this off. Uh-oh. And now I may want to use this parchment paper again just to kind of help me place it. You know what? It's going to be fine. It's fine. We're fine. So now we're going to place this on top. I'm not even going to use the parchment paper. We're going to be brave and we're just going to do it because... That's what we want to do. We just want to do it. But I do want to get me, you know what? Let's just go for it. And so my green is off because I really did not do the same green. Like when I did this, I just kind of at the last minute decided that I wanted to try with sublimation. And so the green is not the correct green, but it's okay. All right, so let me put this here. I'm gonna get some heat tape and I'm just gonna take this down because honestly, the uh, the hot fix tape is not really sticking to the, the glitter HTV. So I just wanna put something there just so that we could have it there. Hey, Delanda, hey, Heather, and anybody that just came in, hey, y'all. All right, so I'm going to get, let me get another piece of butcher paper. And I'm not really worried about the ink here because that uh, the transfer tape is going to soak up that ink. I don't know if you guys have seen before, whenever I do like the sublimation and rhinestones, the transfer tape picks up all of that, uh, uh oh, don't turn off on me. It picks up all of that ink. And so we're gonna be pressing this at 305 degrees. I think they recommend like 308 or something, something to that effect. I thought somebody's calling, but we're gonna do 305. Delanda, I know you've been buying stuff on Prime. What have you been buying, girl? Hey, yeah, y'all tell me what you guys have been getting off of Amazon Prime today. There have been some really, really good deals. All right, so I'm not worried about using the Teflon because I know that that, um, that transfer tape is going to protect, protect it. All right, so we have it lined up. Let's go ahead and we are going to press this down. Oh, I like girl for... 10 seconds. Dimps, you haven't gotten anything? Hey, Amanda. 
<laughs> the only thing that I might consider getting is another mini press, but I do have the uh, new mini press in that Zen Blue, but I love a mini press, y'all. That is my favorite tool. My favorite tool. Oh, I meant to put a piece of parchment paper underneath. Oh, y'all didn't remind me. I just told y'all that. I was like, no, I need to put parchment paper and not the butcher paper underneath. And nobody was like, Patrice, you're putting the wrong paper underneath. All right, let's see if that was enough. That looks like that might have been enough. I'm biased that she has a cart full of stuff. Okay, we're going to have to... All right, so look, y'all. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so look, y'all. Look at that. Look. All right, so let me cut around. <laughs> that X tool. <laughs> y'all, I know. All right, so here's the only thing. So somehow my circle did shrink a little bit. Okay, because um, I wanted it to be like fully covered. Like I wanted the black to be, you know, all around. And what I see right now is that I ha I'm going to have a little bit of white around the edge, which isn't bad, but I did want a fully, you know, I wanted it all to be black. So in here, I think we we'll just have to, it, you know what? It could be that it was, it shrank, or it could be that I had the original artwork because I printed it. The original artwork might have been um, a three by three. It, it might, I think, I don't know, but I just got to play with my sizing a little bit better. But y'all, this is gorgeousness. We just got to see, you know, let's look at that adhesive. But look, y'all, look at that. And this is with the glitter. This is with the glitter HTV. All right, and so let's check on that backing. So this is, look, that backing came off fine. And it's super, super sticky, y'all. Super, super sticky. So that's a good thing as far as it being able to be used as a decal. So y'all already know which one I want to use as my decal on my car. So I'm going to put this on my car. So I'll show you guys both of them. So this is going to be, this is the one that we just did. So we, we subbed, we still need to do a little bit of practice with the sublimation onto the, I mean, it worked out fine. So I'm thinking maybe uh, parchment paper underneath instead of butcher paper because I think the HTV, the glitter HTV, when I did it, is what stuck to the butcher paper, not necessarily the HTV anything because the HTV anything is intact, y'all. It is, it's, none of that adhesive is gone. It is sticky. It's more sticky than the bling anything. And so the bling anything, when you guys, when I did it, y'all, it's clear. So unlike the one that we did with the HTV anything and the glitter and sublimation, this one has, is clear. So it'll just go on my car clear. Which one y'all like the best? Got UV resin kit, sticker paper, and adhesive. Fun. That's going to be fun, Kathy. So I'm kind of going with this one. I do want to adjust the color of uh, the symbol to look a little more peridotish but what do you guys which one see which one do you guys like best i like this one this one's better i think y'all tell me which one y'all like best love the black i love this black y'all when that sun is shining on it it's thanks Rosalind and Dempsey Blue. when that sun is shining on it it's going to be gorgeousness gorgeousness i love it absolutely 100% love this. So we're going to use this one. All right. So I am giving away um, the template that I cut tonight with Sunny. And, but first we're going to do 
the giveaway for um the what am i giving away y'all hold on let me switch let me switch over thanks y'all came out really good y'all i love this it's so pretty in person and that glitter really helps it to like bling even more it helps it to bling any more the black thanks theodore sissy and just paper crafting reese sagittarius doesn't matter <laughs> I might have to make you one, Dempsey. I may have to. I might have to make you one. My mom is a Sagittarius too. I might have to make you one. All right, so we're we're actually done with with our craft. Can y'all believe that? We like did that in less than an hour. The craft. Now y'all know I spent a few minutes talking to y'all for the longest, but it wasn't that long this time. But I did talk to y'all for a while. So now we are going to get ready and do the giveaway. Um, thank you, Carla. We're going to get ready to do the giveaway for the Vavor um, mug press. And I did show the Vavor mug press uh, in a video last week. And that giveaway was for, uh, I think you had to go over to No Name, No Shame podcast. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Dempsey Boo. <laughs> we had to go, you had to go over to the No Name, No Shame podcast, which is my other channel. We do crafting over there. We talk about business. We talk about a lot of random um, things, Terrell and I, and um, you had to go over there and comment under a video. So we're going to go on comment picker, and then I am going to draw um, from there live, and we'll see. So whoever wins, uh, you have... I forgot in the description, it tells how long you have to contact me, but you do have a few days to contact me. And if you don't contact me, um, we'll hold another drawing and um, somebody else will will win. So thank you so much for, yeah, just being here. We're two. And we do have another giveaway uh, planned. We actually have a few more giveaways planned. My vacation kind of threw me off. But we do have another giveaway planned for the 15 by 15 of uh, Avore Heat Press. Um, look out for that sometime this week. The giveaway, I'll announce it sometime this week. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Starting to try black glitter next time, maybe. We could. We could try black glitter next time. The only difference is if we did black glitter next time, we won't even have to um, sub. We could just press, you know, how we did the um, bling anything one. We'll just put the glitter onto the HTV anything. And then all we have to do is press, you know, press the rhinestones in. We don't even have to sublimate it. So only thing is, is that the green outline in the back wouldn't show. But that still would be pretty. I think that would still be pretty. We could even do a circle and just put the green um, logo on there. What's the other? Ch the other channel. Hold on. We're going to go to it right now, y'all. We're going to go to it right now. Let me share my screen. Let me make sure I have the right screen. I got to remove this. Stop screen. Um, y'all. Let me make sure the right thing is up. It is not. All right, so we have comment picker, and then we have, um, okay. So I'm gonna do it so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. Uh, where is it at? So y'all know. So you had to comment, your comment had to say something like craftable. I think that's what I said. If I didn't say that, y'all, tell me but i think that's what it said you had to say craftable in the comment only because we're going to another channel let's see let's see let's see i can't see anything all right share screen all right i'm back y'all it is heather it is it is a hot mess over there girl it is a hot mess all right let's see youtube and we just started it what like last month two months ago a month and a half ago or so so let me try to pull it up on this phone too. So I can at least see what we're doing. Turn volume down. All right, good. So now I can see the screen. All right, y'all. So now we're inside a comment picker and we are getting ready to 
pick the winner for the Vavor mug press. So if you win this mug press, you are not eligible for any of the giveaways that I'm going to be doing, any more that I'm going to be doing for our two year anniversary. And I have a few more planned for the two year anniversary, but anything after that you're, you're eligible for, but anything else for the two year um, anniversary, you won't be eligible for it unless it's something that I do on Facebook. I do, I will treat that separately, All right? So now we're in comment picker and we are going to be picking from a YouTube video URL and the video URL that we are going to be using let me go back to No Name, No Shame. This is the No Name, No Shame podcast that um, I have with Terrell. And it looks like he put another video up there. We did some work on some. I was trying to teach him how to do easy subly. Y'all, just so you guys know, Terrell pretty much controls everything on that channel because I don't have time to edit or post or anything over there. So he pretty much controls everything. He edits the videos. So that's why, you know, usually the videos are very much so in his favor. But we do have another video. So the video that you guys had to comment under for the giveaway was this video, sublimation on 100% cotton, on a 100% cotton shirt using glitter heat transfer vital. So here's the video. And here are all the comments that everybody left. And thank you for going over there. Thank you for subscribing. You had to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, we do different craft tutorials. And we kind of focus, too, a little bit on our uh, classroom or our class craft room. So I'm copying, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm copying the URL. Now we are going to head back over to Comment Picker. I am going to input the URL right here that we just copied. And then I am going to go ahead and filtering duplicate users. I'm also going to filter comments based on a specific text. And so we want the word craftable. Oh, we could turn off the, where's Aaron at to remind me to turn off the heat press? Aaron, you didn't remind me to turn this off. All right, craftable. And we're not excluding um, anything. I don't really have any blacklist users. Add extra entries, no remove winner from list after draw, we're only doing one drawing. And then the next drawing we're gonna do for this template and we're gonna do it on um, StreamYard. So three plus one is four. And so now I'm going to click get YouTube comments. Kathy, he's never involved in learning, but always wants me to do something. He's like, he wants me to do something for his website shirt so he can sell some shirts on his website. It's a hot mess. So there's 121 unique comments. Now we are going to start the raffle, start raffle and pick random winner. And we're going to click start. And let's see. Oh, Anna. Anna Reich is the winner. Congratulations, Anna. And thank you so much for heading over there on the No Name, No Shame podcast and supporting our channel. I appreciate it. Please send me an email. I'm going to put up my email address. Let's see. Let's stop sharing. Oh, I'll leave it up for a minute. Um, please send me an email. And uh oh, oh, I forgot. Okay, here it is. I forgot how, I forgot how to use StreamYard. I've been gone for a day, really for what, like five or six days, and I forgot how to use StreamYard. So Anna, congratulations. Um, you do have, I think it's like three days you have to respond to um, the, the announcement. And if you don't respond, then we will have um, another drawing. We will. But we are also, y'all just be on the lookout for the other giveaway for that 55 by 15 heat press. And there's going to be other uh, giveaways because um, we too, y'all, right? And hopefully this won't be our terrible twos. Hopefully, 
already hot mess. Now I'm going to stop sharing the screen. And now we are going to do, um, if you are interested in that Leo decal that we did, let me know. And I will, um, I'm going to do, and of course the hashtag is going to be Leo. The hashtag is going to be Leo. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, sorry, y'all. I got to open up my other screen. Open up the StreamYard giveaway tool. So what are we going to do on Friday, y'all? Do y'all want to do some more bling? I don't know. We got to see what we're going to do on Friday. Not really sure yet. All right, let's see, let's see. StreamYard giveaway page. I think this is it. All right. So let me share this screen. The the Don't type in just yet, y'all, because I don't know. All right. Let me share the screen. <laughs> Sin, is that you? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Since she wants in the hot mess. <laughs> so Anna, send me an email, please. First, Anna, comment under the the comment. <laughs> I can't, yo, you are so crazy. All right, let me see. All right, here we go. No, not that one. I need to share my Chrome tab. Okay, now I got it. Share. All right, so the hashtag is going to be Leo, and I'm going to start collecting comments now. Leave it blank if you want all users that are coming into. All right, so I'm going to give it a few minutes, a few seconds. The word is Leo if you're interested, and you know, it's not as much, not as big as the mug press, but if you want this Leo template, then just comment Leo. Comment Leo. All right, I'll give you guys a few seconds. We're going to um, do the winner. Can it only be used with rhinestones? This particular template, yes, Kathy. It can only be used with rhinestones, the hot fix rhinestones. Sorry, that's it. Because um, I don't know. You could use it. You could actually use it also with um, like uh, glitter, HTV, or or uh, vinyl, and then it can have a, a a rhinestone look to it or the holographic. So if you were to win it and you want me to send you the template like as a file, I could. Um, it's very basic. But if not, this is for like hot fix rhinestones. So if you don't have like a cutter or you don't have flock or you don't, you know, that's the only thing. But you do have to have, you know, so whoever wins this, I am just in case you don't have any um, things. I'll send you some of the rhinestones that I used tonight so that you could use it with it. And I'll also send you um, the uh, hot fix transfer tape just in case this is your first time and, you know, you, you want to make a, a rhinestone decal or something, I'll send you, matter of fact, I'm going to send you a piece of HTV anything and bling anything, not in a roll, a piece of it, because I only have, I have, I don't have that much left. So I'm going to send you a piece of HTV anything, a piece of bling anything, some um, rhinestones, black and peridot rhinestones, or if you don't want the black, if you want like a silver, you can email me and tell me, like if you want the only rhinestones I'm not giving up, y'all, are my um, crushed ice AB. I'm not giving those up. But if you want, you know, black or if you want, like, the clear rhinestones or if you want the crystal AB rhinestones instead of black, you can get that too. All right? I know I'm long-winded. I'm sorry. <sighs> Even I'm... I forget what I say sometimes. All right, let's get ready to collect because y'all, we're going to be out of here by 9. 
y'all look at us we're doing better we're maturing this is awesome all right let's start collecting so we have 22 entries that's a lot of people who are interested in leos are all y'all leos hey y'all all right so we're gonna click draw we have 23 now so we're gonna get ready to go dimps you know what i look down you are a hot mess <laughs> Hotmess.com. Hot mess. I can't. I can't. Dips, I thought you went, hey, chosen by Erica. Chosen by Erica. Are you also a Leo? Hey, sis. If you are, and if you're not, hey, sis, again. Congratulations. Chosen by Erica. I swear that thing went real slow by Dips. I was like, I know this Sagittarius right here. <laughs> Yay. All right, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Congratulations, Erica. Send me an email with your uh, name and address and send, send it to me and I'm going to send you out the template and all that other stuff that I said, like a whole little kit that you could send. I'll even send you a brush. I have tons of these brushes. Y'all know I overdo it with buying stuff anyway, so y'all know I got stuff to spare. So I'm going to send you the brush so you can brush it in. What else do you need for this, y'all? The brush, the hot fix tape, the HTV, anything, bling, anything, and the rhinestones, right? I think that's it. I think that's it. So the peridot can only go, uh, the green, the peridot can only go on the symbol because it's going to be six SS stones. The black is going to be uh, 10 SS. But let me know if you want to get like the black diamond instead of the jet black, or if you want to get, you know, if you want to switch it up a little bit with the colors, if I have those colors, let me know. No worries. But congratulations, y'all. Where's Flawless? I ain't seen Flawless in a minute. Anthony, you still here? Hey, Anthony. Welcome in. It's been a minute. I thought you abandoned us over here. I see all this going well in DTF world with you. Everything is amazing. I'm always sending people over there because look, guess what? I can't answer any DTF questions. Okay. I barely know anything about sublimation, barely know anything about HTV and all this stuff. And I definitely don't know anything about DTF. So I'll be sending people over there to that group all the time because I just can't. <laughs> send me, let me know what you want to try. I'll send you, I'll send you some rhinestones, Anthony, some rhinestones and um, some stuff so that you could try a little bit of hot fix rhinestones. Let me let you know the bling is addictive. You can ask anybody here. The bling is addictive. It is very, very addictive. So Kathy, <laughs> Kathy, I, Kathy, I just told you I don't know anything about DTF. I know absolutely nothing about DTF. No, DTF is direct to film. And so it's an alternative for uh, vinyl and other things. You can print or you can press it onto a variety of materials. And what you do is it's a special ink that's used um, and it prints onto a film and you have to put adhesive on the backing and cure it and then you can i mean and that's kind of like the short explanation um of it but you can put it on cotton polyester you can put it on a, a wide variety of materials so yeah where's d smith d smith whose birthday oh look at all these leos here Yes. Hey, y'all. I love y'all. Even if you're not a Leo, y'all know I love y'all too. But it's the Leo's just, you know. That's what I wanted to do. Like, I was going to make a, a Leo shirt. Maybe that's what we'll do. Y'all going to get sick and tired of me. But I think that 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 might be what we do on Friday. I don't know. But I was going to do like a, a Leo a bling shirt with a lion and like a two-tone lion. I don't know. I don't know. But we still have to get our materials for our bling night too, where we bling out our cups. So yeah. Hey, Stu. 
Hey, Dorica. Dorica, this is what we made tonight. We did a little bit of bling with good. You can't, this isn't even this. Y'all know this camera always gives me a hard time. So this is what we made tonight, Dorica. You can't even see it good, but we did. It doesn't even look like there's a glitter in the back of here. So we made one of these and then we also made, and this is for my car. And we also made one of these. So this was with the bling anything. And this one's with HTV anything with a little bit of, uh, we subbed onto uh, some glitter HTV and then, you know, put something together. Oh, it, okay. So it's time consuming only in preparation of it. So let's say like this, like this was actually pretty quick. So this took like about three minutes to cut on the flock. And once you have your design and once all you have to do is brush in the rhinestones, it really doesn't take that much, only if you're like first starting. And then you can keep using this. Like I could use this over and over and over again. Like it doesn't, for me, I don't, it does. It never like goes bad. So that's it. Can we just say a Leo shirt? Okay, we may, we may make one, we might make one. Kathy said that might sound too complicated. <laughs> Kathy. Yeah, it's a lot. It's it's and and it, there's a lot of work um behind. Like that's the easy version. That's the easy version. All right, y'all. It's been fun. I'm just happy. We actually finished before 8.30 or was it like at 8.30? And then we did the two giveaways. So if you want the giveaway, please be sure to email me. Patrice at uh, Craftable Things. And I'll go ahead and get ready to send that to you. Thank you, Dempsey. But look, Dempsey, I'm getting better, girl. Your girl came back from vacation grown. I didn't even need a reminder to do the giveaway. Can you believe that? Hmm. That's this week. Next week, I'm going to need the reminders, Dempsey. So never forget that I need reminders for everything. Kelly said, I've only used Final, HTV, and Infusible Ink. Well, Infusible Ink is very close to sublimation. It's a very, very close to sublimation. Sin <laughs> Let me see this. It's, it's very, very close to sublimation. So if you have Infusible Ink down, then sublimation will be very easy for you. It really will. Um, you can even start out with like sublimation transfers if you want to try it out. Um, and not get like all of the stuff that you need for it, like the printer and the ink and everything. You could try sublimation transfers and see how you like it. All right, y'all. Flawless nothing. You weren't even in the giveaway, Flawless. All right, y'all. I love y'all. It has been an amazing night. Thank you. I missed y'all while I was on vacation, and I'm happy to be back. And thank you for having me back. But your girl got to go to work in the morning. Still got summer school. Next year, can somebody remind me that I'm not supposed to sign up for summer school next year? I need somebody to remind me. Like, girl, get your life. Because y'all know I'm going to talk about it with y'all. So please remind me. <laughs> Fall as you didn't win anything. I love y'all. Good night. Have an amazing rest of your week. I can't wait to see y'all on Friday. Look out for the other giveaway announcement. And also... But something else I want to tell y'all, and also look out for, I'm going to post all the materials that we need because we're probably going to do the Blink Cup next week, Friday, for our date night, all right? Again, tomorrow I will be on Instagram with Heat Transfer Warehouse. I would love if I would see my people there making me feel comfortable and not shy and scared. But I love y'all. Have an amazing week. <laughs>